So let's go to secret number two. And this one, I don't know a huge amount about <laughs> anyway, but I've heard you, Barry, talk about this frequently in your presentations. And so I'm just going to literally hand this over to you to say, share with us the secret of working memory. Um, okay, well, I think f for me, the importance is that um, if we want to make best use of our memory, we need to understand a little bit of how it works in practice. Now, some of these terminologies that I'm going to use are not the textbook psychological brain um, definitions, but this is what I found in practice. And as you know, Michael, I do this rather clever um, uh, memory test. That's uh, right get people to remember a whole load of stuff without them remember you know without asking them to remember it and uh so it's, a, it, it's underpinned by some clever stuff on my part i must say <laughs> but the thing is that it's things like that it, in practice what that shows is what i'm going to share uh with with you now we have what can be ca ca called um a, a working memory it's like the the ram in a computer and i think it's designed really to help us juggle things in in our head it's not it's called working memory but it's not a device for remembering it's actually a device for juggling things around in our head playing around with uh with, with concepts it only allows us to keep probably the equivalent of two or three sentences in our head at, at any one time. So you can imagine it's almost like a ticker tape coming through and you, you, you have so much that you can read, but once it's gone past, um, it, it has to read the next bit and you've lost uh, what, what went before. So one of the things that we're often trying to do when we're memorizing stuff, because we don't realize that that working memory isn't, for the purpose of actually for memorizing stuff is we try and hold too much in it. Mm. Um, and also teachers, uh, for example, can tend to throw too much at us, you know, at, uh, at, at, at one go. And, you know, uh, the working memory, it's reckoned that it can only hold the seven plus or minus two bits of data at, at any one time. And if we're talking about juggling complex data, you can't really juggle more than two or three complex things at any one time. Once you go to four or five, then some of them have had to to drop off the um, th th that that work that working memory. Now, what we do have is uh, is a is a short term memory, and there are things that we can do to um, transfer the working memory into short term memory. And this doesn't really require uh, con conscious effort. And that's, I think, one of the things that, that my little um, memory exercise shows. And incidentally, if anyone does go on to, to purchase our course on, on mind mapping, we actually run that uh, exercise with a group of consultants live. So you can actually see what I mean in terms of, um, you know, how many people in that room put their hand up and said they've got a poor memory, you know, and how many people in the room remembered most of the information without trying? And, and that's, that's the other thing is that to get stuff from working memory into this short term memory, it doesn't require effort or trying. And that's another thing which can actually sabotage learning. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we put pressure on people, if we're putting pressure on ourselves, um, if we're not tapping into the unconscious side of um, of of that, then actually it makes uh, remembering stuff uh, difficult. Um, so the thing is, the, the this short term memory can hold compared to the working memory, it can hold a vast quantity of of information. And one way of seeing that demonstrated is if you ever go and watch um, a work, you know, a memory competition. You will see over a day all the competitors holding tremendous amount of information in their short term in that, that short term memory. So they'll be memorizing. Some of them will be mem memorizing eight to ten packs of cards uh, in a, in a in a one hour exercise, and then a bit later they're remembering um, 
thousands of uh, um, digits and and so on, and then bits of poetry, and all that is in is in a day, and it's all gone into short term memory. So there are um, it, sometimes, I mean, uh, often people think them as as tricks, but actually, all it is is learning how to use the brain with least effort. So there are lots of techniques that are out there that we're not going to cover in this uh, in this session, but there are lots of techniques that help us to take uh, information that's coming by and put it straight into our, our short short term memory. Um, so that's probably enough um, on on that for now, because there'll be a okay, few okay. things that might come out uh, on this as as we get some of your other secrets. Okay, let's go to secret number three. All right.